Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of One Note Worthy Life, and in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you the Print to OneNote option. I'm filming in OneNote for Windows 10, so if your screen looks a little bit different than mine or you don't see the Print to OneNote option, it might be because you're using a different device or version of OneNote or a different version of Windows. OneNote is a great way to hold and organize things, and there are several options for getting things into OneNote. The option I'm going to show you today is print to OneNote. If you're on a Windows machine, the option to print to OneNote should show up right along with any other printers you have available to you. If you're using an older version of Windows, you may not see this option. So you can print to OneNote anything that you would physically print on paper or anything you might print as a PDF and save on your hard drive. This slide shows the printers I have available to me when I clicked print. So the first option would be save as a PDF, but the very second option, which is has the gray bar on it, is print is a OneNote for Windows 10. And then there's some other options there which might look familiar to you. Um, and the Canon is my actual physical printer that I'm hoping to get rid of at some point soon. So today I'm going to show you two examples of printing to OneNote. The first is printing a Word document directly into OneNote, and this is something I might do if I wanted a copy of something that was stored on my hard drive to be stored with other notes inside of OneNote. The second example will be printing from a website directly into OneNote. This might be useful if you're doing research, or I frequently use this option when I have a receipt or payment confirmation that shows up on my screen, but there's no convenient print button. Even when there is a convenient print button, I can print it to OneNote if that's where I need it. And just to make a note of it, there are screen clippers and web clippers you can use with OneNote. So you do have those options, but today, just to keep this video very um, targeted and specific, I'm just going to show you how to print to OneNote. So first I'm going to show you how to print a document to OneNote. So this is a Word document that I have saved on my hard drive, and I'm going to go ahead and click the file print. And the default option is print to PDF. That's what I mostly use. But I'm going to change that to print to OneNote for Windows 10. Now I'm going to click print. This is the screen that pops up after I print, clicked print. And I'm going to select um, which notebook I want it in. I want it in my demo notebook. And I want it in the section called print to OneNote. If we go back to my demo notebook, this is the printout we just did. So it can be moved around, um, and it looks like it prints it just as an image as opposed to something that you could edit. So now I'm going to show you how to print a web page. So this is a web page I have open in Microsoft Edge. Um, if, you, if you use an, an, a different browser, it could look a little bit different, but it does work in both Chrome and Firefox. So I'm going to click on these three dots up here and click the print option. And uh, this is again the window that pops up and I'm going to click as my printer destination, OneNote for Windows 10. And once I click print, we will again get the window asking me where I want to print this. I'm going to print, print it to my demo notebook in the Print to OneNote page. And here it is inside of OneNote. I'm going to retitle the page. And it, you know, it doesn't look bad. It's not the best printout. It didn't um, frame it really well or anything. And normally I would not use this option to print a web page. Uh, the most common time I use this is when I have like an order confirmation, a payment receipt, a reservation number, or something like that. It'll pop up on your screen. And if there's not a convenient print button, I use this to print it to OneNote. Um, and even if there is a print button, it's still nice if you want it in OneNote that you can print it directly to OneNote. And this is a great tip for if you're organizing a trip, you can get things like your trip reservations, confirmation numbers, receipts, all that kind of stuff right inside of OneNote where you can access them on your phone. 
So that's it for today. Just a quick tutorial on how to print to OneNote. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions about this video or anything you think I could help with, please comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out. It would help me greatly if you would subscribe by hitting the subscribe button. And if you like this, hit the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.